Hello everyone, Chuck Whetstone here. Thank you for joining me on this podcast. The song story for today is the song story for the song Remember Me. Now years ago, I was at Gulf Coast Bible College in Houston, Texas, and I was a student there, and I was also in a band that traveled for the college and also for ourselves, and we did uh, revivals and camp meetings and youth conventions, and we played at coffee houses and churches. We did everything. And one year we did a, a two and a half month tour to the West Coast, and that was very memorable. The guys in the band, you might know some of their names, Paul Donaldson, his brother Cliff, and our good friend Chester Harkins, and me. We were the four uh, amigos <laughs> at that time. And uh, then later on, we added a guitar player, and a fantastic guitar player named Mark. Writer, Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark Ryder had a great voice. We were Theophilus. That was the name of our, our band. One day we were at this place called the Fishing Hole, and we were in there getting ready to, to play uh, for a Friday night gig or something. And we were sitting around thinking, well, what name should we have for a band? We really didn't have a name that, that I didn't like it anyway. And uh, no one really had a good name for us. And so um, we just thought about it, prayed about it, and op I opened my Bible, and there it was in Luke chapter Theophilus, and I said, well, that's pretty cool, and we looked up what it meant, it meant uh, lover of God, and I said, that, yeah, that's cool, that's a good name, so we decided we'd keep that name, not because of, I brought it up, but because we all liked it, yes, so long story short, we were finishing up a tour, and we, I'm not supposed to touch my nose during this time, I'm sorry, it just, uh, <laughs> there's nobody here in this room but me. Uh, we were finishing up a tour and uh, we were in Ponca City, Oklahoma. And uh, I was at, we had some time, you know, between getting there and playing at the church or playing the next day or whatever it was. Oh, no, it's just, I'm going to have to edit this out. And uh, I went to the piano. It seemed like it was a grand piano at that time. And I just started writing down these thoughts that came to my brain. And uh, and the music came together and the words came together. And the result was this uh, short little communion song called Remember Me. Well, it's not that short, is it? Anyway, uh, the idea for the song is where Jesus said at, the, at his last meal with his disciples, he told the guys, he said, now do this in remembrance of me. And he's talking about the the body and the bread and uh, the the cup was his blood. And, and he was talking about that. And they took this special Passover meal together. And uh, so fast forward to when I was growing up in South Texas at this Baptist church, First Baptist Church in Ingleside, Texas. Uh, and most churches uh, during that era, even today, have down front uh, below the platform right in front of the pulpit, there's a, usually a table there, and it's called a communion table or the Lord's Supper table. And on there's usually writing on the front edge of it, and it says, do this in remembrance of me. Now remember, I grew up in church, and we were at church a lot, and went to a lot of services, two-week revivals in the 60s. I remember that really well. There was a long time. And uh, I was there, you know, two to three services a week, and just had a great time growing up there in, in uh, South Texas. And so every time I was in the Sunday morning and Sunday evening services, I would look toward the platform where the preacher would preach, and, I, and I'd stare at that table. It was always there. Do this in remembrance of me. Those words were always there. And so as I wrote this song, I not only made it pertain to communion, but also the last verse says, in everything you do and say, remember me. Letting our thoughts and our minds and our emotions and our actions be controlled by Christ. That was what I was trying to say. Let me remember him in the way I live. And so this song is a great, I think it's a great little communion song. Not too hard to sing, not too hard to play. And I hope you really enjoy it. Again, it came from traveling in a in a band, a group of these guys, 
and uh, still love him to this day. And Paul's gone on to be with Jesus, and so is Mark. He's gone to be with Jesus. So uh, just Chester and, and Cliff and myself remain. And uh, so I wrote the song in a little bit of spare time that we had, and it was about communion and tying that into growing up and always seeing the communion table. Oh, by the way, uh, when I was small and, and growing up in that church, uh, when we did have communion, the, the deacons, which my dad was a deacon, the deacons helped take care of the elements that were on the Lord's table, on, on the communion table. And the pastor would stand at the pulpit and, and direct the flow of what needs to be done in the scripture that was read. But I really liked it because the deacons, two of them, one on each side of the table, they, the table was covered up with this big cloth. I think it was a, a white sheet. It might have been lace, but I think it was just a white sheet. They would take this sheet and fold it together and fold it real neatly and move it to the side. And then when the pastor called for passing out the elements uh, to the congregation, they, they did that at that time. But that really stuck in my mind as a kid growing up. And I said, man, that's cool. I'd, I'd like to do that sometime. That'd be really cool. And so didn't know later on I was going to be in ministry and we'd be doing it all the time, uh, preparing it and serving it and writing songs for it. Okay, this has been too long for a song story, but I hope you enjoyed it. The song is Remember Me. And it's a special communion song. May you be blessed today. Until later, Chuck Whetstone signing out.